Hey, Mr. Hazen here. Just want to say congratulations, class of 2023. Proud of everybody and all you've accomplished. I want to kind of leave you with a quote that I live by that I came up with myself. Uh, it goes a little something like this. Attitudes are contagious. Is yours worth catching? You came up with that? Uh, yeah. Really? You didn't read it off the wall behind you at some point while you were in here? That's coincidental. That's not. That wasn't me. No. What are you even doing anyway? This is a video for, you know, the influential teachers. You yeah. got the email. Why would you be doing that, though? They sent me that email. They said, I'm the number one teacher. Like, voted number one by every single senior, most influential teacher in the district. No. That's not what it said. That's, that's, I thought that's, that's not what it said. right at here, all. but... You, uh, yeah, you're not reading that correctly at all. Yeah, I, I didn't really read it, to be honest. I kind of just looked at it quickly. I saw class of 2023, influential teachers figured I won something, whatever. I think it's hilarious that they you think that you were the most influential teacher when, honestly, probably 95% of them have not even, not even <laughs> know who you are. That's weird, man. Yeah, to be honest, it is a fact. What did you do? I taught all of them. Probably all of them in class. Yeah. Maybe, eh, yeah, 80%. Still, but that's but that means they know you and they, yeah. like, why would they vote? Whatever. That, but, you know. You know. Anyway, in all seriousness, we do wish you all the best. Uh, good luck with everything you decide to do moving forward. Congratulations on making it. Yep, and remember, guys, attitudes are contagious, all right? Is, Is yours, yours worth catching? catching? Yeah, there you go. Hello, class of 2023. What an amazing tenure you have had at Chardon Local Schools. From being the first class of eighth graders at the high school to everything you have accomplished um, from then until now. We are so proud of every single one of you. I wish you all the very best in whatever the future holds. Hello, class of 2023, congratulations. You're finally graduating from high school. I can remember some of you back at Maple Elementary in second grade. We had so much fun together. Um, I was going to do the worm, but there's no way I'm doing it here on video, sorry. Anyway, just do your best in life. Whatever you choose, it's going to be fine, you know. Have fun and go with the flow. You guys are all awesome and you will do awesome things. So, take care. I love you all. Peace out. Congratulations, class of 2023. I believe when you're watching this, you're pretty much across the finish line. Um, so I have to give you a bit of advice, and I think the best advice I can give you is uh, whatever you do, just be happy. Um, money is not everything. Find a career or whatever you want to do that will make you happy because this goes pretty quick and just enjoy the ride and don't sweat the small stuff. There'll be things that you worry about that, you know, keep you up at night and then within a month, it's not that big of a deal. So just try to be happy in the moment and uh, love everybody around you. Once again, congratulations and all the seniors that I had in class. You guys were all awesome. I don't know if I've ever had a, a nicer group of uh, young adults than I did this year. So I really uh, look forward to see what you guys do. Stop by and say hi sometime. Bye. Congratulations, class of 2023. You have worked hard and gotten through some crazy times and have finished your high school career successfully. You have much to be proud of. If you were in my class, you know how much I love the Chronicles of Narnia. So in the words of C.S. Lewis, all your life in this world and all your adventures have only been the cover in the title page. Now at last you are beginning chapter one of your great story, which no one on earth has read which goes on forever, in which every chapter is better than the one before. Now's the time to get out there and make your story. Good luck. Congratulations, class of 2023. You guys have been the class of many firsts, from being the first group of eighth graders to managing COVID. You guys have handled everything with a lot of style and grace. Enjoy what lies ahead, have fun, and stay true to your dreams. Good luck, congrats.
My advice for the class of 2023, something that has been very helpful throughout my life, is daily Bible reading. I think as a person of faith, it points you to the truth and uh, it also helps you kind of navigate life without getting off on one way, one side of the road or the other. You go right down the middle. Um, I think it's a good thing to do. Hello, class of 2023. Mr. Herner with you. And I must say I'm honored and happy to be part of this baccalaureate video. Happy to be part of anything these days. Make sure you hug a loved one because you never really know. I looked for some words of wisdom. In fact, I looked through my entire book of thoughts of the day and I landed on individuality. You've probably played Tetris, right? Well, as soon as you fit in, you disappear. Be yourself and congratulations on graduation. Well, congrats, uh, class of 2023. Thanks for selecting Coach Morowski and I as, as people uh, that impacted your high school career. It means a lot to us. Uh, something that I do daily is I try to avoid the news, but occasionally you can't help but see it, and it's pretty discouraging. But then when I come here and I see you guys and I see what the future holds, at least based on Sharon High School, I'm encouraged. I would say the phone is one of the greatest addictions the world has ever seen. We love it. We've got to make sure it doesn't consume us. Opportunities have never been greater for us. Uh, and yet, perseverance is still required. I think sometimes social media makes things seem like they happen fast. They don't. You're going to forget everything I just said, everything Coach Morosky just said. It's a reason why you need to build a strong circle of people that you can bounce ideas and that, that can be there to support you throughout this journey known as life. Coach? Guys, there's adversity that's going to come hit you at some point in your life. Uh, you got people that care about you. You got teachers that care about you. You have family members that care about you. So at the end of the day, I understand you're from Chardon. Yeah. That is something very, very special um, that you can get through anything. Graduates, congratulations on reaching this milestone. While you may or may not be pursuing a career that uses math daily, I think it's only fitting that we take a moment to reflect on four life lessons that I hope you have picked up somewhere along your math journey. First, whatever you do, be a problem solver. Seek to find solutions and persevere against all odds. Second, remember it's okay to make mistakes. Always keep an eraser handy, ask for forgiveness, learn from the mistake, and be willing to try again. Third, don't believe everything you are told is the truth. It's okay to question. Seek to prove as you work to build understanding. And finally, wherever life, life takes you, be patient, be resilient, and have faith. Let your light shine before others and seek to carry out your purpose that God intended for you. Go and make a difference in this world. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2023. It's me, Mrs. Ferguson from Munson, fifth grade. You did it. You've grown and you're ready to move on. I'd like to offer you a quote from a novel that I hope you remember we read in fifth grade, Wonder. But the best way to measure how much you've grown isn't by inches or the number of laps you can now run around the track or even your grade point average, though those things are important to be sure. It's what you've done with your time, how you've chosen to spend your days, and whose life you have touched this year. That, to me, is the greatest measure of success. I hope that you choose to be kinder than necessary and experience the power of your friendship, the test of your character, and the strength of your courage. Best of luck, and please come back and visit sometime. <laughs>